Hello again, this is the Watering Man. Now we're still in John chapter 4, verse 53. I'm going to do a little addition here. Okay, it's concerning that that word that I was talking, talking about before. It's myiasis, spelled M-Y-I-A-S-I-S. -I -I okay, now by habitually BSing, out your mouth leads to spiritual myiasis in your life. Question mark, question mark, question mark. The storms, by doing your red dog way, spiritual BSing it, red lighting God, and not green lighting God by, by um, habitually BSing, that leads to spiritual myiasis in your life question mark question mark question mark you better question it question your decisions just because you think it's good or evil it could be from the tree of your own knowledge of good and evil it's not the tree of life that's not green with christ that's anti-christ better hold tight that thing Throw to god okay now <coughs> in this spelling it was a funny, funny way of doing it. And I'm going to give you the Center for Disease Control's definition of this. And I'm going to put a little bit of spiritual understanding of what in the relationship builder of your mind and in your life. What's going on when you come into the storms of your life. How you could be my eyes if you will, instead of you're missing the mark by going not and not agreeing emphatically and hold time this thing this ego ooh it edges God out and going Christ's way okay now <clears throat> in the spelling of this it's M Y I A S I S okay it starts out M Y my and then I I, your own ego that edges God out, your own carnal mindedness, hmm? your ego, my I, and then I got like the ass, as, A S, okay? It's just the A, A. It's your donkey nature, your ass nature. My I, or ass nature, S I S. It gives me spirit, spiritual sp spiritual vision problems. I'm not being enlightened to the light of God. He's not zapping this out. If you're my icing, my icing, missing the mark, his will, you're doing your own good and evil way. Hmm? All right. So the name of this was Habitual bullshitting leads to spiritual myiasis in your life. Question mark, question mark, question mark. You better question mark it. You better question this thing. So in that storm, when you're, eh, be reasonable, sit my way and quit myiasing. Quit missing by my eye, my ass nature. My donkey nature getting stuck, right? Your log, right in your eyes, right in your vision. Your mind, your works, around your neck, full actories. It's got scriptures in it, but you're just keeping it on the outside. You're not taking it in your mind and letting God hog tie this. You're hog tying this and God's zapping it out, transforming it from this fold, frozen, solid state. Hmm? Warming up to a liquid. Warming it up to a gaseous state. Keep warming it up. Bring out more impurities. Thousands of degrees. Thousands of times. Why you green lighting God? Okay? It's causing you to miss the mark because you got spiritual vision problems. You're seeing, you're hearing, your taste, touch, and smell is messed up. It's got your eye, your donkey nature in 
in a it's like spiritual myiasis. Now, <clears throat> let me read this definition and we'll explain in here the the um God's rebuilding process where he's purifying your mind, okay? Now, this myiasis is the infection of fly larva, a maggot in human tissue. What's the matter? Maggot, fly thinking, well, you eating your drop of dogs, poop hot dogs, and your dried out, dehydrated, maggot filled piss. Flies and maggots, you're eating of it. Now, it says, people traveling, hmm? that's living or existing in this life. If you're living in your carnality, saying, I'm doing it my own way, my own good and evil way. Instead of hold tight that thing, that maggot-filled maggot -filled food, hmm? you're partaking in it. I'm doing my own good and evil ways. I'll make up my own mind. I don't care what God to Oh, you're edging God out. It's your ego. It's your my ISIS, right? You're eating that donkey nature. Right? Instead of going God's way. Not my will, but God's will. Not by my might and power. By maggot-filled piss. And my poop hot dogs and hamburgers and all this stuff. Ugh. Nasty. My cesspool. Is the ruler the king? My well, king Nebuchadnezzar. No, it isn't. Squatting dog. Hold tight. Well done. Zap it out. Right? Bring you up. Huh? Now. <coughs> my Isis is the infection of flag it, of fly mar fly larva maggot that's maggots in human tissue. People traveling or living and existing in this life in the red endemic way of thinking they're a rebel or they're thinking they're going the good way and they're missing the mark. They're going their own ego way. It's edging God out. They're going their own carnal minded ways. That's enmity, directly opposed, not against. It's ice. Two towards and into God's ways. They're going their own ways. Those things are warring with each other. Whichever one you're feeding the most is the one that's kind of winning. Huh? You feed to the spirit, you reap the life of the ages, the fullness of life in God. You feed to this thing, it's doom and gloom. You're eating your own shitter. Your own shit's thinking. You reap corruption and destruction. You're going to stand your old shit up, pop, pop, stand your old stairs. Because you're eating your own bullshit thinking. And getting my ISIS. You're not seeing straight. That stuff messes up your vision of God. It's saying your spiritual vision is um the donkey thinking. My I ego ass nature is the way to go. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Here's a big gong going off. Bong, 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 it's wrong, wrong, wrong. Better go God's way, better question mark this thing. Man, this stuff is stupid. Hmm? This rubber hammer is not doing a thing. Bang, bang. It's getting worse and worse. Hmm? This, all this riches just seems to go nowhere. I can't make enough money. I gotta work up lots of overtime to... Come on, man. All right, now. It's my ISIS from the Center of Disease Control. It says, is the infection of a fly larvae a maggot in human tissue. People traveling, an interpretation of the spirit, a prophet interprets the word of God, okay? Is living, it's when you're living or existing in this life in your red Adamic ways, your beast nature. Make your uh, uh your choices out of that tree of knowledge of good and evil. You're partaking of it. You're eating it. You're eating that maggot-filled fruit. Hmm? From the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, not the tree of life. Okay? 
So people traveling, living in, from the wrong tree, with untreated and open wounds. Oh my goodness, you know you got an open wound in your face. A gash or a wound in the face is your mouth. <laughs> if you're constantly sticking your foot in your mouth, it's an open wound. Blah, blah, blah. Not speaking in the love of God now, are you, brother? You're not loving your neighbor as yourself. You're trying to make all your decisions on your good and evil works. It's very conditional. Or very false. Hmm? It's not God's love. It's beyond the description of mere love, mere words that he's bringing up so you get a greater and greater return to love God the way he loves you, first loved you, and God loves you beyond the mere description of words. He said, Father, Jesus, Yahweh is salvation. He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they're doing. What did uh, Stephen say when they was killing him? Father, lay not this sin to the charge. I just did videos on that not, not very long ago. Okay? All right? This gash in the face. Your mouth. Blah, 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 blah. You'll know a tree by the fruit it bears, right? Hmm? You're not listening to the Father. You're not being reasonable and sitting in His way and increasing. You're trying to increase yourself with this Lord of the Father stuff. This maggot filled food over here from the tree, your knowledge of good and evil. Doesn't just have to be meat. It can be meat. It can be food, poisonous sticking berries, menstruous rags, ooh, like Isaiah 64 6. Ooh, yuck, that stuff is some sick stuff. It's all dung. There's Apostle Paul, counsel. I, I count it all as dung. Right? Philippians 3 8. A lot more. It's hard of man. The way you think in your own humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking, humanistic thinking. It's deceitful. It's desperately wicked and evil above all things. Hmm? In John 10, this thief, this robber, it only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. It, right? In Genesis, the tree of knowledge of the knowledge of your good and evil. This bullshitter. This maggot filled food. Don't partake in it. Don't stick it in the gas in your face. Because <laughs> what comes out after that? That, 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 that. Stick with your foot in your mouth. Bullshit. <laughs> you <laughs> habitually bullshitting leads to spiritual myiasis in your life. You better question that. That way, I think. You can't get it out no way but by agreeing emphatically with God. Habitually hog tie this thing. Sock in the mouth, duct tape, around the hands, around the feet, behind the back. Yeah! God will increase until you get better and better and better. He'll zap it out. Not just a one time thing. He's baptizing you in the Holy Spirit, the purifying, sanctifying spirit. It's in fire. P Y R. It's pronounced poor. He's purifying you in this relationship builder in here. The natural is teaching you about the spiritual, right? Now, <clears throat> this gash or wound in the face, the mouth, your mouth, you're snared by the words of your mouth. I didn't look at, I forgot to look at up where it's at. I can't quite remember the quote right where it's, at, but that's, that's that's pretty much it. You're snared by the words of your mouth. It's a it's a tricky place, huh? It's like I did find out where I was at. I said in that other one, a couple of verse uh, corners ago, and I tried to redo it. I re tell you where it's at. I just missed it by a little about a chapter. I said Malachi chapter four. Is actually Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. It says 16, and other than that, but coming out right, and I was like, huh, wait a minute. But here, I'll read it to you. Malachi, Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. Okay? For I, the Lord, for I am the Lord, I change not, therefore you sons of Jacob are not consumed. 
I think I, I quoted that. But I just gave the wrong address to it. Okay. But studying it, going in and understanding your bullshitting, you're getting consumed. You're going down your shitter. You better let that stuff, lay that stuff down so God can consume it and refine out the gold. Purify it. Take that golden ore and heat that stuff up till that stuff starts melting out. Come to the top and God will skim it out or zap this stuff out. Huh? And purify your heart, your mind, this little ball within the ball. It's in the ball. Huh? Big ball, little ball, tiniest ball of your thinking, right? Now, <clears throat> now let's see here. The mouth, let's see. You're snared by the words of your mouth. Um, one can't be like, one's mouth can be like a gash in the face or an open wound. Now, what's this saying? <coughs> People traveling or they're existing in the red way of thinking, right? Their own carnality with untreated or open wounds, a gash in the face. Their own mouth. Blah, blah, blah. Bullshitting. Hmm. Habitually lying. And talking violence. Talking fear. Intimidation. I love you, man. And it's not true. Not the way God loves you. Huh? You're to love your na love God more than anything and love your neighbor, your fellow human being as you love yourself. That's not putting any strings attached onto it. I'll love you if you love me. I'll kick your ass if you don't. I'll tell lies on you. I'll throw some rocks at you. Crush your head. I'll tear you down. Make you less than a... Hmm. That's bullshit. Throw the bullshit flag on it in your own mind. You won't necessarily have to go out and do or say nothing. Nobody else says don't eat their bullcrap. And don't let that bullcrap cause you to try to vindicate it, retaliate, to get revenge yourself. God's the one that vindicates it. It says vengeance is mine, sent the Lord... It's vindication. God makes it right. Because he's omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, sovereign. He doesn't miss the mark. Huh? What is it? In this Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord. I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob, you trickster, you hill grabber, you trying to sell me a lemon, you bullshitter. Are not consumed. Hmm. Okay. Now, <clears throat> people traveling are existing in their own carnal ways, with un with an untreated or open wound in their face, their mouth is not controlled, it's not bridled. Are more at risk of getting myiasis. My. I, my ego, my ass nature, my donkey, is messing up my spiritual vision. They're more susceptible to getting that. My iasis. My dumbass ego iasis. It's messing up the way I see God. If they see him as a big bad villain. Yeah, they either gonna do all their good works. Or rebel and go nuts about him and say he doesn't even exist or whatever. Ag agnostic and atheist, any of this bullshit. Go in your own way. <laughs> Boo! Agree with God emphatically. Get that myiasis. Intestinal fly infestation, in other words. All of your... Spiritual body, become a sound whole body, this come into the sound whole body, the soma of God. <laughs> Booyah buddy All Right so, Love God, love he's giving you. <laughs> Not this conditional stuff. That's still the essence. Alright? Now <clears throat> it goes on to say that fly larvae, if it gets all that 
infestation is myiasis, this disease. This is like the center of disease controls to find it. And I'm telling, showing you, interpreting it with the Spirit of God, what it's doing in, in that God's relationship builder that he is removing. He's surgically taking out it. So, on. You hold tight. Point two five seconds, man. I'm getting great at this. She still got got zap. He's like surgically removing it. Now listen to this. Fly larvae needs to be surgically removed by a medical professional. The omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. God is the only one, the only one qualified to zap it out. To skim it out. Want me to skim out that stuff? Uh, that melt out jaws? Chop it out. Skim it out. Way out. For you, my child. Yes, sir, daddy. I done hold tight it. Man, it ain't going. I'm not allowing it to do nothing. You daggone dirty dog. Uh, well done, Mike. Now, you back out of the way, boy. Zap. Or girl. Zap. I'm bringing you up. I'm coming on up. Boom the papa back into God to that deluxe right madness in God I'm coming on up boom the papa back into God boom ba da boom So come back up nuclear fusion splitting this atom chop it out skip it out wheel by God Bow qualified surgeon the spiritual surgeon. This thing here is not trying, it's trying to beat it out with the club. Just take the club to it. That's the way King Nebuchadnezzar does. We'll throw you in a fire furnace and... Oh, but God... He can control it. He can... <coughs> exactly, precisely, to cause you to get rid of this stuff. This is the only way, the truth, and the life that Jesus was telling us about. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus. I-E-S-O-U-S. Jesus. 24-24. Yahweh's salvation. That's the surgeon. Hmm? Now, God is the surgeon, the only one qualified to do that, to cut out that fly larva, that fly larva, the infestation, in your gut, in your mind, in the deep, the universe of your mind. Down to the single thought process, the deeper universe there too. Down to the deepest in the spot in that, boom, there's another universe. Now this spot right here is messed up, my child. <coughs> Don't eat this stuff. You get my eyes. When you eat this bullshit, your own shit stinking diarrhea in the cesspool of your mind, right? Ooh, deep, deep, deeper. You're way down in that carnal mind. Eating it up, boom, doop, da doop, da doom. It's old fashioned. It's like you're Adamic nature. You're red Adamic. Man. Six, six, six. <laughs> Got your log in there. Your eye or your ass nature is messing up your vision. Hold tight. Y'all will take care of all that. Bop! <laughs> right? Now, God has to be the surgeon to remove the fly larvae from your mind that infest your fleshly, worldly thinking, your carnality. If you sow to that carnality, of your own carnal mindedness, your enmity, your natural way of thinking. Huh? You survive your fighters, your fight response. <laughs> Must be somebody doing something bad to me. Must be a devil thing or something. Hog tie all this stuff. That's bullshit. It's worthless and detestable. Acknowledge God. Deny this wrong squatting king. He's a daggone giving me my eyes to skin out of you, you dick. <laughs> Hog time. Yes, sir. In this battle, be a mighty warrior for God. Hmm? That's your spiritual warfare. Hog tie your own ass. 
<laughs> you old beast nature, you old ego. Get out of here, man. You try to ego. You try to mess God up. You're messing yourself up. It's not some devil or nothing out there. Huh? God subjected you to this vanity, this double mindedness, this carnal mind. Not willing, but in hope, like in Romans chapter 8. What is it about verse 18 to about 20 something? Let's read the whole thing, man. Study. Oh my goodness, that whole chapter is oh, great. Huh? Lay down there. Don't let it go. Some of that stuff's embedded so deep and so hard down in you. Man, it takes some real serious earthquaking, some fiery trolls to bring it out. And it's not to you to kill you, throw you in an endless hell. Endless plus inf endless. Infinity plus infinity. That's dumbass. Hulk tie that stuff. Let God zap it out. Let him chop it out. Skim it out. Let him skim that dross off as it comes up. It's just becoming more and more and more pure, bringing you up to a higher and higher and higher level. Order of God's love to go boom, boom, boom. Huh? Drive this piston down, this red dog stuff down. And as he's doing that, that same energy is pushing you up. Right up the spiral on the staircase, following you right back into him, back to singularity, and then booyah, right into like a new universe. Another higher way of thinking, another dimension in God. Huh? Oh my goodness. So, don't habitually practice. BSing that leads to spiritual myiasis. Huh? Better question mark, question mark, question mark to that in the storms all of your days because these storms are for you, not to you. It's to expose this red dog thing, it's giving you diseases, impure water. Giving you maggot filled meat to eat. Better eat the meat to eat that Jesus said. I have meat to eat that you know not of. <laughs> Doing the will of God right in the hardest times. Not going this way because, well, the circumstances of my life are too hard, so I better stay focused on this bullshit. Better make a stand in it. I gotta defend it. I better suppress it. Better get rid of it. You want to get rid of it, surrender it, lay down there. Your own ego. And let God take over. The battle is the Lord's. Don't get spiritual myiasis. Only the right surgeon, spiritual surgeon, God, the omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, sovereign king to get it off. This king can't do shit. But give you more bullshit thinking. Have a great day. Tell people about this. This is great news. Father God is taking over in your mind. Little by little by little. Come on up. Don't be a chicken shit. Don't be a fear. The fear of God is the beginning of all understanding. That's the red dog way. It's bullshitting you. Reverence God. There's a dichotomy in this, and they're both opposed. The fear of God, to love God with everything you got. Reverence him, revere him, grow in gratitude, in love of God, in love of God. That were charm, meeting God's child, and that meeting, uh, being able to love your neighbor as you love yourself. That love, that spirit, that measure, that metron, limited portion of faith, that love, that Christ in others. He put a measure of faith in all. Not just to some, but two things to good guys. And bad guys, nothing but evil. Uh-huh. All the way down in there, he said, I give a measure of all. Measure to all. Let's go there. I'm going to show you that real quick. We got time. Uh, it's Romans 12. I'm not going to go a lot in that. Let me see. Right here. In verse 3 of Romans chapter 12. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, 
not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, accordingly, according as God has dealt to every man, that's all, a measure, that's metron, a limited portion of faith, that's pistis. Hmm. And we are to, ex in these storms of life, we are to exercise your faith in God. Hold tight your own ego and come up with God, and you qualify with God, that in me, he'll zap it out. Not just putting bullshit on the outside of your face. That's leading to my eyes, my eyes is too. Because you're just like the Pharisees, you know. Do all kinds of stuff outside, and inside's full of all kinds of dead men's bones, you're not dealing with it. God's relationship builder is inside you. Hmm? Didn't Jesus say, in Luke chapter 17, verse 20 and 21, hmm? the kingdom of God doesn't come with this outward stuff, outward observation. For behold, be totally amazed, the kingdom of God is where? It's within you. Oh, in the deep, deeper, deeper, universe, 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 the ball, 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 the will, 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 right in your universe. He's going to go, ah, so you lay us down, bring it up. He's like breathing hard. He's passionate and desire for you. Organ through me. Let people know about this. This is good news. Amen. Have a great day. Hit like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Bye-bye.